What is going on ladies and gents? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, today's Saturday, I'm at the shop, back with another video, and I got a huge surprise for you guys. So, uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. I finally bought my dream car, my childhood dream car, ever since I was playing Need for Speed Underground 1, Underground 2. This was the car that I would always get and modify, and I, I always wanted one, and you know, um, well, yes, you know, I've had a lot of Evos and I've had a lot of cars. Uh, this car was never really obtainable for me up until now. Uh, so it's truly a blessing to finally say that I bought a Mark IV 1996 right hand drive Toyota Supra that's in pristine condition. And we're going to be doing so many things with this um, vehicle. I already have so many parts on order. But I'll get to that in a second. I'm just gonna do a walk around and kind of tell you guys what's going on with this car. Um, found this car on uh, Facebook, one of the MK4 groups, and uh, you know, hit up the guy, talked to him. This was like a mountain long uh, ordeal. We went back and forth, kind of negotiated the price. Um, it was what he was asking for. The car was fair, but um, the car was in Kansas, so I had to fly out. I had to get an Airbnb, see the car, you know, do the transaction, come back. So it was a couple thousand dollars that I had to spend. Plus the fact that I had to do it on a weekday because obviously, you know, you can't give, uh, you know, you can't go to the bank on a Sunday. So I couldn't fly out on Saturday, get there after the bank closed and, you know, I'd be screwed. So I had to lose a couple days. So I wasn't at the shop, but everything ended up uh, working out, which is uh, why I'm making this video. Uh, but I did pick up this, again, 1996 right-hand drive Mark IV Toyota Supra. It's got some beautiful weld sports on there. But we're going to get bead locks for the back. It's actually already on order. Shout out to Stephen Hill from Turn 14. This is the front of the car. The car is wrapped. The original paint is silver. Um, I'm just, yeah, I can't even really talk because I'm beyond excited. I've had the car for 24 hours now, maybe a little bit less than 24 hours. Uh, and it's just uh, such a such a blast to drive and just it's just a it's a dream car I mean uh, you know you can't, you can't really express anything um, I, I can't I can't put it in my feelings into words so um, it is a 1996 like I said clean title of course this particular vehicle was originally a NA car so it was a GE uh, engine and cylinder head um, he got a uh, Japanese engine, imported the engine from Japan with 60k, uh, 60k kilometers on there, which is like 30 something thousand miles, 65 call it, they can't remember the exact number, but um, this particular chassis code, this particular vehicle actually came with the V161 transmission, which the V161 is essentially like the V160, uh, and mind you, I'm not a super guru, this is just, you know, just basic research i will hopefully become a guru uh in the coming years and you know when, when i tap into this platform a lot heavier now that i actually have the car but anyway the from my understanding the v161 has more fins for heat dissipation it is the superior transmission um and uh, it also has the tt rear diff uh so everything was kind of set up from the get-go it was just the engine that was the ge got swapped to the gte uh, he did a pretty mild build. There's an eBay log manifold there. That's a Borg uh, S300. The uh, car was never dynoed, but it's had like 20 pounds of boost. Um, obviously not tuned by me, but um, I actually haven't even taken a look at the tune. The awesome thing about this is it already has a Haltech 2500, so it saves me some money. It's already got a, a wiring harness from Tweaked Performance. Um, not a crazy harness, but you know, a pretty neat harness, cleaned everything up. Uh, and overall, whenever the engine was pulled out, when he was doing this, he repainted the engine bay uh, and sprayed it with 5,000 clear coat. So it looks immaculate. But obviously it's not, um, you know, I gotta do the Ronnie built speed lab uh, things to it. So I've already hit up uh, Grana's Racing. I got his, um, it is a um sorry it's a v-band turbo kit that i got um now i'm drawing a blank was it a v-band or was it a t4 it was a t4 i'm sorry it was a t4 turbo kit that i got 
Um, however, um, I got a scratch that, not a T4, sorry. V-band turbo kit that I got from Gana's. Uh, single wastegate, 60 mil wastegate. On the right hand drive cars, it's very tricky to get the turbo kits to fit. Sorry that I'm drawing a blank when I'm talking. Uh, super, super excited still. Um, and that turbo kit, um, I just bought the hot parts basically. I am an HPT dealer, of course, so gave uh, my boy Tristan a call. Got a 6466 on the way. Uh, 0.81 AR, so I'm sorry, 0.82 AR uh, stainless hot side, so uh, it's not gonna rust um, and uh, it's gonna spool pretty damn quick for this uh, inline six. I mean, this S300 is uh, not exactly known for its crazy fast spool characteristics. It's like a six, seven hundred dollar turbo, but uh, my God, does it come on pretty quick. Uh, so super excited about that. Um, full fuel system from Radium that's already here, literally. The day I got back from Kansas, the fuel system was here. So you guys are, are kind of getting the idea of how uh, ape shit I'm about to go with this car. It is a stock bottom end. I intend to keep it that way. Uh, maybe make around 800, 850. I, to be completely transparent with you guys, which I always am, um, I don't even know what the real capability of the stock block is. Of course, with my tuning experience with the Evos and you know keeping the power band to the right, you get to make them live longer because you know you get to produce the, the torque at a later RPM, which helps the longevity of the motor. But um, as far as like what power it will handle, I do not know. I keep hearing different things. I guess we'll find out. Eventually, of course, I'm gonna do a build, uh, built bottom end. I'm probably just gonna get another core, uh, build main caps. It's gonna be a steel rod build, but. Uh, you know, gonna do a, do a nice build so we can have a you know, nice four digit, uh, you could call it daily driver. This is not gonna be daily, but you know, just the cars and coffee car. So me and my girl can take the car out and uh, uh, yeah, just enjoy it. Um, shout out to my buddy Lance from PHR Powerhouse Racing. Um, I'm about to get a bunch of goodies from them, uh, including their dual spout PWM fan so I can control it with the Haltech and kind of kick on the can uh, the I'm sorry the fans uh, via relays of course uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that works if there's like uh, a specific like a Kaizen type relay that I have to use or what the deal with that's gonna be but uh, I know it's PWM if you have a standalone ECU of course uh, so we can pull a pulse width modulated and uh, you know we have uh, we might have to uh, you know move some IOs around to be able to do that but that's not gonna be a problem I'm super super excited about the turbo kit uh, this car I will show you guys what's going on underneath the car what's in once it is up in the air uh, no rust which I love about it I mean it's a you know car from 1996 Japan and then Kansas and uh, yeah, so no rust, I'm very excited about that. We are gonna get a PHR four inch titanium exhaust um, and a bunch of other stuff that I can't remember right now. The PHR modified oil pump, uh, a, a bunch of goodies, a bunch of goodies. We're gonna make this thing look nice, sound nice, feel nice, drive nice. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of these weld sports. And like I said, I'm gonna get uh, some S71s for the front, then some S71 bead locks for the rear. Uh, that's already on order with some uh, Mickey Thompson 275 uh, 50 15s. So, um, again, shout out to Lance. He also told me what um, uh, what thickness spacer I need for the rears to clear the brakes. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. So, um, it's actually at the shop right now. I'm waiting for my AutoZone guy to bring the spark plugs. We're gonna do plugs quick oil change just do a quick rundown of the car look at it from underneath i actually haven't seen the car literally i still haven't seen the car from underneath so we're gonna kind of look at it together so it's just gonna be an introduction letting you guys know that we're gonna tap into the mark IV uh platform um there is of course uh the other elephant in the room we are gonna go to a bigger shop we were dealing with uh essentially a real estate agent that uh, you know introduced the spot to us and it was just way too big so we're kind of negotiating terms if the financials make sense that 
bigger shop, which is more than four times the size of this shop. Uh, we'll move in there, but if not, we're very um, aggressively looking for a bigger spot. So we're definitely gonna have more manpower, of course, we're gonna have more lifts and we're gonna be able to actually support this platform as well. So my goal is not to break world records with this, but I wanna be able to support the Mark IVs and uh, of course know how to work on them, which is why I bought one and that's my favorite car. So it kind of serves as a dual purpose uh, purchase. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna lift the car right now and we'll look at it together with, once it's up in the air. And of course, we're gonna put some HPL on this thing. So we're doing an oil change on it. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, we are under the vehicle. Vehicle, I don't know why I said it like that, but um, it does look like it needed an oil change. Um, I am seeing some stuff here which is not a big deal. I mean, you know, these uh, components do have uh, quite some miles. I mean, this transmission itself has like 170,000 miles. And I am seeing a leak. Uh, it's essentially like a seepage. I'm gonna take this cover off to see exactly where it's coming from. Um, but it seems to be quite apparent that it's coming from here. Oh, and there's a loose bolt here. Oopsies. Well, there you go. That's why having access to a lift is nice. So. Um, I'm gonna nut and bolt the car, of course, to make sure everything's good. Um, glad we're doing the oil change. I'm pretty sure the spark plugs are not gonna look amazing either, so I'm glad we're changing that as well. Um, and there's a small leak from the actual oil pan. Nothing concerning. I mean, these are just easy things to, that we can do. And if we we've gotta take the transmission apart to fix the seal or something, which I feel like might be what's happening, uh, not a big deal. I mean, you know, these are project cars, so. Um, but yeah, I am seeing it in quite a few different spots. So once I know, I'll let you guys know, that's probably gonna be another video, but I'm gonna pop this cover off and I'll show you guys if there's anything interesting there. So they did try to um, hard line to filter to a dash six to the fuel rail, but uh, I got the full radium kit. So we're just gonna swap everything over. I got their plumbing kit. I got the uh, double pumper all that good stuff so um yeah and aside from that so they made a uh, this is a three inch exhaust that they made uh obviously not mandrel bent that's why you know there are these uh creases over here uh it's a three inch it's still a very nice exhaust uh which i'm probably just gonna sell once uh the phr one gets here vibrant muffler painted uh, and again, no rust. I mean, you know, just small stuff, nothing real major. I am seeing that this uh, bushing, the uh, differential bushing on this side, at least not this one, but this one is torn up pretty bad. So take a look at that. Uh, but as far as uh, the suspension and everything else goes, everything's pretty solid, guys. Everything looks great. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Um, this is just, you know, leftover coolant probably um no other leaks does have a fluid damper which i was not aware of so that's a plus but most likely we're gonna do oh there is a leak over there too so this is gonna come up for the phr oil pump anyway uh so we're, we're gonna fix every little leak that there is um there is a leak over there too i'm not sure if that's for the bvti or what but you know nothing we can't take care of so this is bright um so far it's looking good guys it's just this one little leak on the transmission which uh, i will get fixed uh you know before we throw major power at it but for the time being i'm gonna figure out what transmission fluid to use uh i guess some of these do actually take atf which is kind of weird but uh maybe it's the friction modifiers and stuff in the atf that makes these work um and eh, some synchros i guess like atf i don't know uh it's a first for me that's for sure but yeah other than that everything's looking good so um i'll see you guys once i pull the plug so yeah. what's going on guys so it is monday right now it's actually 7 30 uh in the evening and i'm uh, about ready to leave uh yesterday i was super busy uh, didn't get to film anything with the car and on saturday uh, i completely forgot to finish filming the spark plugs and everything else so uh, we did confirm that we have a leak from the bell housing. Not quite sure from where exactly just yet, but I am gonna get a full resale kit 
we're gonna take the transmission out make it look super nice uh, put it back in it does have a south bend clutch which is rated for like 660 foot pounds of um wheel torque yes wheel torque uh, and it's a single disc it's almost like the acts with the evo eights and nines uh where you know we make like 600 foot pounds of torque on a single disc and you know they handle it uh but if i'm pulling everything out i think i'm gonna go with a mcleod mcleod i don't know uh how you domestic guys pronounce it because obviously i'm i'm new to this game but mcleod <laughs> makes a clutch with a supra and um you know it's gonna kind of gonna future proof the car so i'm gonna get their um the one that handles like 1200 wheel i think it's rated for like 800 foot pounds of torque which is going to be more than plenty for the time being uh, i don't want to go crazy and you know buy a, a unit that's going to handle a thousand foot pounds of torque and put a triple in a car that i'm gonna try to enjoy on the weekends i already have two evos basically to do that with um so basically um everything looked good we put hpl oil in it drove it around a little bit of course um i'm still in the process of getting the vehicle insured there's so many flies here i gotta like, trash out and um once i do uh then you know we can start playing with the car a little bit i did however receive the turbocharger today which is a hpt 6466 with a 0.84 stainless um ar v band t3 inlet so the granis kit is going to get here tomorrow um i'm not going to be touching the car until i have uh, uh quite a uh, bit more parts for it uh just waiting on powerhouse racing to kind of get my account set up and i can get the dual brushless spout fans that way we can uh, pulse with modulated uh, pulse with modulate that fan because uh the the stock super fan is a big mechanical fan and once that thing kicks on i mean that thing draws a lot of amps because you can notice a really a substan a substantial idle dip um and of course you know later on we're going to do intake manifold and all that good stuff we're going to do a bottom end build we're going to do a top end build we're going to go pretty crazy with that uh supra so super excited to show you guys all that stuff um uh, for right now i just wanted to make an introductory video um about the Supra, you know, becoming a part of the channel and, um, you know, me owning it, basically. Um, I have one more thing I want to talk about before I close the video. There is somebody that you guys all know, a good friend of mine that's going to be coming here and filming for us twice a week. So this way, I don't have any excuses not to post content for you guys. Uh, because, yes, I'm going to be busy, but he's going to be here filming all the important stuff that go on and you know whenever there's something to explain you know he can basically start filming as i'm explaining it and then you know i can keep doing what i'm doing and uh it's gonna be uh twice a week is what we're shooting for and it's gonna be you know great quality awesome edits bloopers you know stuff to you know get you guys some more entertainment but uh with that being said i think i'm just about ready to close up shop right after i clean up the office because there's literally flies everywhere for some reason um thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment uh hit that bell notification icon so when i post you guys get notified um and yeah just comment it really does help the channel and uh i respond to every one of the comments i read i definitely read all of them so yeah i appreciate you guys i'm uh, hoping you guys have an amazing week and hopefully i'll have another video posted this week if not early next week have a good one